So, hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozzello from Curval.com and uh, today we are going to talk about buttons. Who doesn't like buttons, right? I don't know if you've seen it, but Microsoft has released the April update. I guess everybody has seen it, who missed that? But uh, it's taken me a while to take a look at it because I was on vacation. So now that I'm back, I've been uh, you know, going through the update and uh, my favorite feature is those little buttons. I don't know, I, I love them. And uh, I am going to show you today in a very short video how they work um, and how they do not work. They're not working for me, but maybe I'm doing something wrong. But the, I will show you a solution, uh, something that I've done before with a lot of hard work and that can be implemented in a very, very few steps. So let's look at how those beautiful buttons work in a second. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and this is the Northwind dataset that we always use. So what I have here is three visuals that show the same thing in different ways. So in the first uh, visual, we can see the growth uh, by year month. And this is a growth rate, so this is the percentage, how much have we grow in percentage. This is the typical uh, year by month uh, sales this year comparing to previous year. And this is showing the difference uh, from this year against previous year. So all of them are showing the same thing, but in a different way. Okay, And depending on what you are actually um, doing, one way or the other is preferable to look at. And um, there is actually a way in, there's not often a way to, you know, eat the cake and have it. In this case, you can. So you can actually have these three in the same place. And this is something that I implemented for a customer because they really wanted to have the three ways to see it in a very easy and approachable way. But I had to do it you know, with bookmarks and create my own buttons. And it, it was a pain, it, you know, the it was such a big development for such a small thing. So with buttons, we can do this so much easier. Just look at this. We're going to duplicate the page and uh, we're going to move all these three down there. A little bit bigger. And let's look at those beautiful buttons. Here we have them. So we have some buttons that come out of the box from Microsoft, and this is the buttons that they think that we should use for Q&A, for bookmark, for you know the drill down, drill through. So those are the functionalities that are already in Power BI. But the one I like is the blank, because that is a white canvas for us to do anything we want. So look at this. Here we have, here we have um, the blank button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three of these, one for each graph, but I'm going to do one formatted the way I want, and then we will copy it for the other ones. Otherwise it takes like forever to do it. So we, co we do the first one, button text for default. This is going to write numbers to say numbers. So this is current year, previous year visual. Uh, we're going to have a little bit bigger size. How about like that? Looks gorgeous. And look at this. I saw it. Where is it? Outline. Um, Rounded. Check this out. Oh, I can round things. I love this. I think the buttons look so much nicer when they're rounded. Any button. I rounded perhaps too much, but yeah. You can of course remove the outline if you want, or you could do it like less outline. Oh, yeah, you decide. An icon you could have. We are not going to have it here. Then for the hover is when you, you know, um, move the cursor over the text. We want to have 
a much lighter you see and we want to have that for the outline too so that is going to be like that so that means like okay i'm hovering over it and for selected this is what doesn't work for me but maybe i'm doing something wrong let's say that when it's selected i want to have it blue so in my mind selected means that when i click on it it will stay blue and that's the one that's been selected i don't think they mean that uh, because it doesn't work for me but let me know if you know anything uh, otherwise my trick doesn't work like that well but otherwise i don't know why okay anyhow so here in action we select on and we choose bookmark and we need to create those bookmarks right so now that we have the button that we want exactly the way we want it we just copy it put it one there and the other one there remember the trick that i showed you this week let's do it again last week it was align to top distribute bang and this will be rate and this will be uh, diff so now we have our three buttons we need to do the bookmarking so we put these things on top of each other bookmarking style there we go we're modeling bookmarks and selection pane and now we start creating the bookmarks nothing strange here so we create the first one which is numbers and then for that we don't want growth and we don't want diff update and then we create rate and then we create diff and for div we don't want we only want that update and for raid we only want that so numbers raid diff and div that's the point of doing that at all is actually to have like that okay so now we have our bookmarks we have our buttons let's put these together what we need to do now is to go to the numbers and we just select what should each button action on and then control click remember we're on the designer number rate and div so they are working beautifully now i don't know the select thing if i would like the one that i selected that it stays the color i said and it doesn't do it i don't know if it does it on the uh, powerbi.com i haven't tried it yet so it's a bit sad. <laughs> but it, i mean this this is super useful those buttons are going to be so so useful i lost so much time trying to do gifts on things and not trying to do you know all kinds of crazy stuff just to get this hovering action and to get this button working and now it's super super easy great right so what do you think about the buttons they're excellent right there is one thing i would like actually and it is uh, to be able to have font awesome type font type in there because then we could have any button in the world with all the kind all the icons in the world so microsoft if you're listening to this please i don't know if it's possible or not i don't know if it has to do with web compatibility or something if it is possible i would love to have them so we can create our own icons with those little buttons it would be fantastic actually and they are like text so very easy to use so yeah this is all for today but what is your favorite power bi update now in april how about you let me know in the comment box and uh, i'll see you again on friday next fridays don't miss it
Bye.